what is up you guys so i have been trying to find a way to make the center of geodes for quite a hot minute lately and i think i have found my solution this is a borax crystal that i made in eight hours using just like a few household ingredients it is very sturdy I mean, of course, it's going to flake when you, like, bang it around like that. That's what she said. And um, I think they're quite beautiful. It doesn't take much to do them. And you can add whatever you want to them to make them different colors. This one was just spray painted on the back. I did add a little bit of heat to this trying to dry the gold spray paint I had in the middle. So edges of some of these um, ended up being a little bit white, but um, I think they are quite beautiful. And with just a few ingredients, you can make some too. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it right now. So the things you will need. Okay, the things you're gonna need is some kind of glass jar the reason why glass is important is because it retains heat and it's very important that your liquid stays warm for an extended period of time so glass jar of some sort you're going to need the active ingredient which is a borax everyone that i've researched uses this 20 mule team borax it's not very expensive i ordered what i thought was one box one box on amazon turns out i got uh, four so awesome and um, it's actually used in detergent it's very much a household ingredient apparently people have been using it since 1981 awesome possum you're also going to need something for your crystals to adhere to most people use um, pipe cleaners or tinsel stems you can get them on Amazon or also any craft store ever invented. Next, you're going to need some kind of string. I don't have any, so I'm using this just wire. Basically, you just need something to dangle your tinsel into your glass for the borax to adhere to. And you're going to need something for your string to dangle off of. Um, I did this bunch of degenerates earlier. And um, so this is basically the setup. This one's still setting, but I added some pink food coloring to it. And it is currently growing some awesomely large crystals. Um, but that's the other thing you're gonna need. This food coloring was actually um, this pink gel food coloring. Not sure the brand, I'm pretty sure it's a knockoff of some sort. Um, but this blue that I used, and it's also the blue in here and in here, is Color Obsessions Bondi Blue. One drop, eight drops. Also eight drops. So all of those things are still growing, but that's basically the setup. Tinsel hanging by a something in a glass jar. Uh, borax, you can see it. Um, starting to crystallize on the edge of the glass as well. Don't worry, it's not going to ruin your glass because you can just put uh, boiling water in it and scrape it off the edges with a little bit of elbow grease and um, have your glass jars good as new. So, let's get started. So, first things first, you're going to need to boil some water. I have regular out of the tap, not purified or distilled or whatever water um, in this pot that I'm going to heat all the way to boiling. So I'm gonna turn my little burner on high and just wait for it to boil. And in the meantime, I'm gonna take one of these um, pipe cleaners or tinsel stems or whatever you wanna call them and create them into a shape. So um, I've done them a f two or three ways at this point. And basically whatever shape you make is gonna be 
uh, what comes out. So you can make a heart, you can make a flower. I'm currently trying to figure um, the inside of a geode. So that's kind of the shape that I've been trying to work on. But the world is is your your oyster. Just do what you want to do. Do whatever you feel like doing. Since it is like on it's um like it's a bendable, pliable metal, so you can basically just work any shape you want out of it. And it'll look great no matter what you do actually because it's anything with a whole bunch of crystal on it it's going to look awesome in my opinion just make sure pro tip when you make your shape that it will fit into the mouth of whatever glass jar you have because I have had the issue where I made a shape and it grew crystals on the outside of the shape and it was like ding 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 couldn't get it out so keep that in mind so for this one I'm gonna make it tall and slender because that is the shape of my glass jar which is super awesome and fine because I don't have one that's that shape yet I've only done the basic shapes That'll probably be good, right? I think so. So that's our basic shape. It's just gonna be open like that. Next, I'm gonna need my something. Where did I put my this? So next, I'm gonna take my string, or for me, it's gonna be this wire. Just something that you can attach to your shape when you dip it down into the water. You want it to hang from something. So, um, if you're planning on making a necklace, you can go ahead and use like your eyelet or whatever in this spot. Um, I'm just going to use this wire because I'm going to use it as a druzy anyways. So now I have it to where I can attach these around my straw. I'm just going to twist it. This part is really not that serious. I'm still working to find the best way to do all of this. So I'm not saying that what I'm doing is the best way, but I am saying that it works for me and I'm here to share it with all y'all. So you want to make sure that your string or wire or whatever drops uh, straight down. Because you don't want it to touch the sides because if you're shape touches the side of your glass then it may adhere to the side of like this this isn't going to work it's going to be hard for me to get it out of the shape so i'm going to have to adjust this shape just slightly so maybe we'll turn that inside try again just barely so if i grow too many crystals on the outside of this shape we're going to have an issue getting it out of the jar so let's just adjust it a little bit more maybe we'll drop this part inward and push that part inward so now it looks like this much more seamless 
just keep that in mind while you're making your shape because it's not going to be a fun time trying to get it out after crystals grow. You also want to make sure it doesn't touch the bottom like it is here because then if crystals start growing on it, um, it's going to adhere to the bottom and it's going to be difficult for you to get it out of your jar. So I'm just going to adjust it at the top to make this line a little shorter. And now it is um, hanging freely in the jar without touching the sides or the base. So that's going to work just nicely. Now, um, you also need to make sure that your Um, your, your shape drops low enough to where it's going to get under a water line in here. So in a jar, I try to make sure that it drops below, uh, where a lid would screw on just as a point of reference. Meow. It is time to wait for your water to boil. Um, in the meantime, you can try to decide if you want to add a color or just leave it clear. If you use a color, um, let's do purple. If you use a, this is a gel food color. I read that you can use any food coloring. Also, the tints from Color Obsession will work as well. So pick that out, have that ready, and now we wait. All right, now that we have a rolling boil of water, we can start our process. I'm gonna take my jar. If you're scared of hot water or may burn yourself, safety first, wear gloves, uh, hazmat, whatever you need to protect yourself. I can't be held responsible for you burning yourself with scalding hot water. Safety first. Don't burn yourself. So, now that that's out of the way, we're going to pour this boiling hot water into this jar. And I'm not going to fill it all the way up to this lid line because I'm going to add a lot of borax and that's going to take up a lot of the space in this jar. I'm just going to use a knife to stir it in. Um, I read somewhere a ratio where you want to mix so many tablespoons per so many cups of borax. But ultimately what you want to make sure is that when you mix it in, you can't um, mix any more into the water. So when you mix in a powder into a boiling hot liquid, it's going to dissolve into the liquid. So when you stir it around, you'll see it getting cloudy, but it won't be collecting at the bottom. Once you see it collecting at the bottom, that's when you know you have enough in there to start getting your crystals. So we're going to stir in just a little bit at a time and check to make sure that it's getting dissolved into the boiling hot water. So that amount mixed in, we're gonna add some more. And as you can see, I've already come up to the fill line that I had aimed for. So if it gets too close to the top, we're gonna have to pour a little bit of the water out. So that's why I was saying um, keep it under where you ultimately want it to go. So the more borax you can fit into your water, the bigger your crystals will be. Think of your water like skinny jeans. You want to get as much of yourself in there as possible for the best outcome. I don't know if that's the best analogy, but we're going to roll with it. Okay. 
So it's not collecting at the bottom yet, so I'm going to keep adding the borax. Now while I'm adding the water, I mean adding the borax and stirring it in, and it's out of this rolling boiling pot of water, it's cooling off even though it is in a glass. Um, jar. So what I've read is you can microwave your jar of borax for like a minute or so to reboil the water and allow for more of the borax to dissolve into your water. That does work. It does give you larger crystals if you choose to do that. But I still have to pack some more. So we're going to cut this um, shorter and just do it this way. Now, I forgot to tell you at the beginning, you're also going to need some saran wrap or aluminum foil. You're just going to cut off a square that fits nicely over the top of your jar. Like so. Wunderbar. And I'm going to take, I'm going to make sure that it's still, I'm going to show you what this looks like before I do this part actually. Carefully. Because boiling hot water. See how at the bottom here you can see, oops that it's collected a little bit. That means no more of the borax is getting absorbed into the boiling hot water. And that is the point that you either wanna microwave your solution or just stop mixing borax into it because no more can get absorbed. So everything past that is gonna be a waste unless you microwave it. So we dropped our shape in there it is central, so it's not touching any of the sides or the bottom or the top of the water. And I'm going to add this cling wrap, saran wrap, or whatever. And the reason why you do this is to trap in as much heat as possible so it doesn't escape through the top of your jar. Now you can also, um, after this cools down a bit, you can take your whatever shape out, microwave it, and put the shape back in, and that will help your crystal to grow even larger. But you want to still be able to get it out of the jar, so that's not going to work for me since that jar is a small mouth jar. Forgot to add the coloring, so we're going to just do one more. So that y'all know what that looks like. So I have this other jar. I already have the boiling water. I'm gonna add the borax. Stir. I don't know if it's important to stir it in a little bit at a time, like if that helps it to absorb better, or if that's just a precaution to not waste more borax than you need to. No idea, but that's just what I read you're supposed to do. If you're from the South and you know about mixing uh, sweet tea, then you're familiar with this whole process. Now, I still have to make a shape for this. Let's just make a shorter um, like druzy shape like so. Leave a hook at the top 
to attach the string. It's okay, Beans. Boys, it's okay. Okay, Miss, thank you. We almost made the same mistake twice. Almost forgot to add my food color. So depending on how deep you want the color is how much food color you mix in. You can use the regular just tint or you can do like what I have and do the uh, gel. I don't think there's a difference, but I haven't tried the regular kind either. So all I know is what I got. I just added a little bit more to add more heat to it. You can also just microwave it. I think for the gels, it's important to add just a little bit more heat because it's kind of a thicker solution. It's not gonna touch the bottom. Now I need something to hang it off of. Chopsticks will work nicely. So, since this is more shallow, I'm attaching it closer to the base. I also make sure to wrap my extra wire or string or whatever around because if you leave it sticking straight up, um, you're going to have issues with your saran wrap. Now you want to place these jars in an area where they won't be disturbed for at least eight hours. The longer it's warm and the longer you leave them alone, the bigger the crystals will grow. So I will see you guys in the morning. See how these set up. Voila! Like magic, it's the next day. So, this is all left. No! Okay, good. So when you take it out, it's gonna be obviously damp. So you wanna put it on a paper towel. It's still gonna be a little delicate. That's okay. But it's gonna make this awesome looking crystal. And it looks like some of the food coloring sunk, I guess, because it's a gel, so it's heavier. So there's like this neat ombre look. So you just wanna let it sit on a paper towel to like really dry out and stiffen up. And then this other one, We did. Also decided to stick to the sides. You just wiggle it a little bit to get to let go. Now we have this awesome huge crystal ready to do whatever with. Um, thing is, also it has to be a rough surface, so if you want to do something smoother, you have to scuff it a little bit. Use like a 60 grit sandpaper. You can shape your pipe cleaners to any shape. This one's a little flower. 
but this stuck to the bottom so when I pulled it out all of those came off this one I had in a swirly pattern but it too stuck to the bottom so when I pulled it um, it straightened out um, I put this little crystal shape in one I just dropped it um, I had spray gesso on it so the crystals attached to it as well and what else do we have I dropped the skull in but I um, painted a little bit of um, Mod Podge on it to give it a texture so where I put the Mod Podge on it is where it attached. This one is with pink food coloring. And since it did not stick to the bottom because I gave it enough room, the larger crystals are down there on the bottom. Fun. Um, the blue one we did. This is with Color Obsessions Bondi Blue tint. And Jeff dropped a pendant in one. And it just only collected on the areas where it was a rougher surface. Yeah, he made the shark tooth. And... Um, I put this geode shape in one, but it only collected where the areas were rougher. So it looks like that, but I think that's really neat looking because it's more like accurate to me, you know? And I did a rose. How fun is that guy? Obviously, it floated a little bit, so the bottom isn't as beautiful because it was like this in the water. But, I mean, it's got to lay on some kind of surface, so I would just display it like this. Thank you, Jen, for this beautiful flower that you sent me and I have been using for a million different things. So, yeah. This is the one that we did last night for today obviously is not the most beautiful shape but it is beautiful crystal so uh, yeah if I wanted to let it grow more I would just microwave the jar with the sediment still in it and stir that back up get it reincorporated into the hot water and drop it back in for another eight hours so i hope you liked this little science experiment and you give it a shot let me know what works for you in the comments below let me see what you guys create i'm gonna continue to try these things out um, for my interior of a geode shape. Um, let me know your experience with this. We'll see y'all next time. Bye.